weekly vlog. God, that was very high pitched, wasn't it? It's Monday, it's about five o'clock. I haven't picked up the camera all day because I've been busy just working, catching up on eBay and YouTube stuff and all of that type of thing. And I went out for a walk this morning. But yes, nothing exciting has happened today. After last week, I'm having a quiet week this week or quieter i've got one day out planned with carla on wednesday which i'm very much looking forward to other than that it's a home type week um, working and getting some of the stuff listed that i bought last week on my major week out shopping so how was everybody's weekend ours was lovely um friday night we didn't do a lot I, oh i didn't get back from bournemouth till quite late on friday afternoon so Friday night we just stayed in. Saturday, what did we do Saturday? Oh, we went out to a beer garden on Saturday. That was nice. Sat out on the village green outside the pub in the village that we used to live in. Because um, their pub has reopened. They've got a lot of outside space. And just had a drink and sat and enjoyed the sunshine. That was lovely. It felt very nice and good to be out again. Um... And then Sunday, we had friends over in the afternoon, um, sat out on the balcony and just had some snacks and some wine, uh, Prosecco actually, not wine, but that was very pleasant and um, yeah, very social and um, the busiest weekend we've had for ages. So that was really lovely. Really very much enjoyed the weekend. But um, as I said, quite a week this week. Let me take you to see another thing that we did over the weekend in the garden so you'll probably remember that my cat Reg very sadly died last year he was a good age to be fair but it was still sad we'd had him for 16 years um, just it. and we always wanted to we had his ashes we brought his ashes home we had him cremated and um, we wanted to plant a tree for him and finally a year and a bit on we have planted a tree we've got a monkey puzzle tree and we've planted it here i got some footage that i took when we were planting it at the weekend which i'll probably pop in in a sec and that was just the little thing of his um box of ashes that ashley's put on there but um we're gonna actually look at how lovely my magnolia is as well gorgeous the leaves are starting to come out now we're going to do we had to plant it further out from the wall because they get so big we couldn't put it sort of where the other bush bush came out so it needed to be a long way out from the wall um, and we're going to reshape this flower bed to accommodate this so it doesn't look like it's stuck in the middle of the lawn so that'll be good so this is my spider plant that I got from I got a tiny cutting one of the one of the little bits that comes off one of these from our favorite restaurant in the sunny resort in Greece when we were there last October September October um, and I've nurtured it on the kitchen windowsill and it's grown beautifully I'm really pleased with it and it has also thrown out little spiky bits and not only has it done that, it's flowered as well, and it's growing little baby spider plants, look, so I can pop them up and um, give them to other people from the same pot, which from the same plant even, which I always think is quite nice. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I've moved it to in here, from the kitchen windowsill, because it was getting a bit wide to continue sitting on the kitchen windowsill, so I think it will like it here, because it's got lots of light from the dome up there coming down so I reckon that's a good spot for it. So I'm just trying on the dress I bought from Primark that you will have seen on my Primark haul. Just trying to work out when you're going to see this. Primark haul, the last Primark haul I did anyway. Um, about a week ago it will have been. Um, and I quite like it. Ignore my bust in it because I've got um, like a sleeping bra on. <laughs> My bust is not where it should be in this dress, but hang on, let's go and look in the other mirror. Let's have some light on the subject. I feel like as a really nice, just quick throw on summer dress. It's nice, it's not too, it's not, there's not too much fabric in it. It's, um, it's tiered and loose fit without being, you know, swamping me. So. Yeah, I'm feeling quite pleased with that. It's something that I just bought without trying on. I feel like it's a, a good buy. That'll be one for the summer. Right. 
It's been a long day of work. Ashley's cooking dinner as well, winning at life. Good morning. Oh my God, that was a bad time to say good morning. Good morning, it's Tuesday. How are we all doing? It's another nice sunny day. And for me, it is another day of work, work, worky work. Um, I'm just about to do a live stream for um, on YouTube purely for the reason that I haven't got time to edit and upload another video um, this week so I thought it'd be quick and easy to do a live stream and I'm gonna make myself you'll have to go into the cupboard bear with there you are you're in the noodles cupboard today it's a change from the plates cupboard um, yeah, um, but if I do a live stream, it's called the Look of Fantastic Nip and Fab Limited Edition Box. So I thought I'd just make myself a quick coffee and do that. And um, yeah, then it's done. It's there and it's up and I don't have to edit it or upload it or any of that good stuff. Um, so that's my plan first. Then I've got another video to edit. And I've got to get lots of eBay listing done as well today. Lots and lots of eBay listing. So that is the plan. It's about half past nine. I've done my treadmill walk. I don't think I'm going to do my lake walk today. I think I'm going to do another treadmill walk a little bit later on. Um, still got to empty the dishwasher, do the laundry stuff, do all the housey stuff as well. I think my brain's feeling a little bit fried this morning. Can you tell? Um, Anyway, yes, I will um, endeavour to pick up the camera and update you a little bit later on when I'm feeling a little less frazzled. It's getting on for half past four on Tuesday. And I feel absolutely brain dead. I have got loads done, but oh, I haven't stopped since half past seven this morning. Just been sitting at that desk, staring at that screen. And it's not good for me. It's not good at all. Anyway. Just taking a little break. I've worked through lunch as well. I'm bloody starving. So I'm making a piece of toast and I'm going to put some peanut butter on it because I really fancy toast with peanut butter. I've still got one more job to do. I say job, it's actually picking clothes for a clothing video. So that's not actually a bad job to do. It's quite a nice job to do. Um, but then I think I'm all done with screens for the moment, which is good because I haven't even washed up from last night's dinner yet. Tonight's dinner is, it's a Hello Fresh, which I froze, it's a prawn one, I froze the prawns from before. And it's quick and sticky prawns with basmati rice, which looks rather nice and quite healthy, so that's good. And I feel like I missed out on a glorious day. I'm really hoping it's going to be nice tomorrow because I'm going out with Carla for the day. I'm sure I've said that already. We're meeting up in Bridgewater. And um, yeah, so I'm hoping it will be nice so I can enjoy some sunshine tomorrow because I feel like I missed out on today's sunshine, really. But never mind. I got loads done, which was the main thing. Right, I'm going to eat my toast, choose my clothes, and then wash up, and then maybe have half an hour of the sunshine with my book. That's the plan. Finally, five past five, time to put my feet up in what's left of the sun, which isn't an awful lot now. It's still warmish. I don't know what the temperature is, no idea at all. I'm just gonna tell you about some amazing customer service I have had over the last couple of days. Cause you know me, I like to moan when I get bad service. So it's nice if I tell you when I get good service as well, isn't it? Unfortunately, it was from a company in America. Not unfortunately, but it's not a company that we easily have access to here. So, towards the end of lockdown, Bath & Body Works, my favourite candle company in the whole world, which is based in America, and as you know, you can't get them shipped to the UK easily. They don't ship here. Um, had a buy one, get one free sale on all candles. And having seen a couple of people I watch on YouTube were recommended this particular company called Opas, um, which you get basically, it's lots of companies do it, but they give you, a, you get, you register with the company, you get an address for shipping in the US and you can have packages delivered to that address from 
places that don't ship to the UK and then you pay to depending on weight and value etc to have it delivered onwards to you in the UK they consolidate parcels as well so if you have if you want to order from several different companies you can get them all sent there within a 30 day period and they will hold on to, to, the, to them without extra cost for up to 30 days for you and you then send them to you in a consolidated package anyway I saw these YouTubers work with this company so I thought oh I'll go with them I think there was a discount code or something for 5% off or 10% off so I registered with the company it was all very simple I got my address in America and then on buy one get one free candle day I ordered myself four large and four small lovely lovely candles filled in all my address details paid order went through got a notification that the order was about to be shipped to this shipping company um, followed it on the tracking which I was able to do and saw that it was delivered last Monday morning now it says that you should allow two days I think it says on the website two to three days possibly um, for your order to show up in your OPAS account as having been delivered so although I knew it had been delivered it didn't show up in the OPAS account by Thursday afternoon so four days later it still hadn't showed up so I sent them an email um, which they didn't reply to by Friday um, despite it saying on their website they answered e all emails the same day um, so I phoned them, there's no um, live chat option on their website so I phoned them and they were quite helpful on the phone and they still, yes it should have it should have shown up the next day in your account and I said well I can see it's been delivered and they still, well, what we'll have to do is check if it's perhaps been delivered to one of our neighbouring businesses rather than here or something I thought oh god that's not good is it because when you've got tracking that says delivered and it's in a different country there's really not an awful lot you can do is there anyway they said they get they sent me an email to confirm our telephone conversation and said that they would um come back to me in the next few days several days i think it said this was on friday night of course time zone differences as well so on sunday i contacted bath and body works um and i said look i, I realized that my tracking says it's delivered but apparently it hasn't been delivered i had to explain that it was going to a shipping company and all that sort of stuff this was on bath and body works live chat on their website which is really good they answer really quickly and are really helpful um, i said i don't know if you're able to get a gps location of where it was delivered or something like that in case it was misdelivered they still know don't worry about that we'll send you out a whole new order no charge <laughs> I was like what really I mean so nice of them as it turned out they couldn't resend the whole order because two of the items had since gone out of stock so they said that's fine we'll refund you for those two items if that's all right with you and send the rest out um we'll we'll process the order now and they did it while i was on the live chat i mean how nice is that when it says it's been delivered i was really really super impressed with that but it gets better because typically wouldn't you expect overnight last night so monday night i had an email when i woke up this morning saying that the parcel has now been found and the first parcel has been registered on the opas site so there it is waiting for me to ship it so i can't i've just contacted bath and body works again this afternoon their um live chat doesn't work open until eight in the morning their time which is four in the afternoon our time um, so I contacted them as soon as they opened and said, look, I don't know if you can stop this parcel that you've sent me, but the first one has now been found. I haven't had a shipping notification yet, so presumably you can cancel the order because they found the original order now. The parcel's been discovered wherever it was <laughs> found again. And bless her, she said, oh, I can't stop it once it's been processed, but that's fine. You can have the candles with our compliments. I said are you sure and she said yes that's absolutely fine we don't want you to go to any hassle of having to return them or anything I mean seriously that is the best customer service I've had for ages the only slight kicker with this is that I've got to pay a whole load of money for extra candles to be shipped now because it's all done on weight that I didn't particularly want but hey I'm not complaining at all but just outstanding customer service from Bath and Body Works honestly really really good I'm so impressed with them but, um, I will obviously be doing a Bath and Body Works haul when all my candles eventually arrive Hello Fresh smells very good tonight 
with rice and with a couple of ribs. I'm not sure, I'm not big on ribs, so I might not like those, but we shall see. Good morning, it's Wednesday. It's about 20 past nine and I need to leave to go meet Carla. That's a better angle, although not so much for the sofa. Um, need to leave to go meet Carla at about half past nine. I've got to fill up with petrol and we're meeting at 11 in Bridgewater. Committing right now to tidying this corner of my dressing table. In fact, the whole, the whole of that area of my dressing table up when I get back this evening. Yeah. Look, here's half my friend Carla Jenkins. <laughs> She's half the woman she used to be. I'm stuck in the car. <laughs> How are you? Long time no see. Look, look. Oh my go God. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm filming you because first thing as we went into the big charity shop, Carla said, what was the first thing you said? I don't need any clothing stock. And she's just done packing this bag oh, full of clothing stock. That number eight, eight, item number eight. Some of those things I need to try and if they don't fit, I can do something. Oh, okay. any excuse. <laughs> We've just had lunch at the pub. I don't know what pub it is. What pub is it? Do we know? We're at the Quantog. Oh, it's the Quantog. It's got a very nice little floral display there, hanging basket. And look, that's what it looks like when you were used to be allowed indoors. Oh yes, that's the indoors when we're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice out here, to be fair. It's been, we've had nice weather. Yes. <laughs> it's been nice and warm. We had a nice lunch. I think we're going to go into town and do the charity shops in town. Which charity shops do we like in the town? Um, none of them. They're all horrible. It's Bridgewater. Like any no. Of them. <laughs> no, we've never had, there's no good ones, are there? The Oxfam sometimes has some nice bits, it's not horribly expensive. It's Oxfam. a cheaper Oxfam than yeah, most. Yeah, it is. But the one we used to really like closed, didn't it? There was one that we liked that was, that disappeared. Possibly. Up near the Oxfam. Can't remember what it was. It was a rummagey one. Yes, I got, uh, it was a bit, it was kind of a British Heart Foundation. There was always loads of pounds. No. Yeah. Can't remember what it was. But it, to be fair, in Bridgewater is the charity shop where you got your designer dress from. Oh, dear Ville yeah. But you found it. Ville <laughs> <laughs> It's like a French porn film. <laughs> I'd like to hasten to add, I'm not a big fan of French porn. Prefer, prefer the Russian stuff. <laughs> oh yes, those big furry hats, they get me every time. Film me having a lovely snack. I'm going to film me having a lovely snack. Yeah. <laughs> We're sitting in Carla's car. We know how to party. Eating Slimming World chocolate orange hi-fi bars. Welcome Very on, nice, baby. actually. Hmm. I'm moaning about the loos being shut. Like the middle Not because I need to use them. Well, not on to... principle. <laughs> Why have they shut the loos? It stops people coming out who may need the loo. And I don't... And there's absolutely no evidence that COVID-19 can be passed on through the seat of your bottom. <laughs> Number one. Have you done a full survey on that? It's what science says. I yeah. asked Chris Whitty. <laughs> Did you email him? Yeah. Chris Whitty, can I catch COVID through my bum, I said. And he sent back to me to Daft. What's his email address? Chris Whitty at downingstreet.com. Chris Whitty at nhs.com. Is he NHS? I don't fucking know. I make it up. <laughs> Can you edit the swearing? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> your channel won't like me if I swear. You swear on your own channel. Oh, and that's why I don't have as many subs as you. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley has just got home from work. And he was spotted today from his appearance on YouTube. I'm a celebrity chef, you know. <laughs> a celebrity chef with very long hair who hasn't yeah. booked a haircut yet. It's Jamie Oliver, Gary Rhodes, Ashley Matthews, Ashley Matthews <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. That's hilarious, you got recognised. Marco Pierre. Who? Marco Pierre. Oh, what's it? White. Sounds, rhymes with white. I had a lovely day. So nice. Ashley's just told me I've got red eyes. I'm assuming it means my eyes and not my eye makeup. Because it could be either. I'm just going to look at them. I think it's just my eye makeup, to be honest. They're not... Yeah, they're probably not very white. But hay fever. And now I'm thinking, do they look yellow? 
Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I had such a nice day with Carla. But you know, getting back to real life is exhausting. It's quite exhausting. It's about half past six. I've just gone through my emails and done a few eBay bits and pieces and approved some comments on YouTube because my Primark video went live this morning. It's my top video in my last ten videos. It's number one, the most popular. It's amazing how many views Primark hauls get. I tend not to watch loads myself, but I know people... God, that's not a good angle, is it? I have to sit up. I tend not to watch a load of Primark hauls myself. I watch some, but people just love them. They just go down so well. Anyway, I'm going to take my makeup off. I'm going to put something more comfortable on it. I've got on my new top from Sainsbury's today. That I, I don't think I showed you this one. I bought it quite recently. It's just a little, it's almost sort of like cheesecloth-y fabric. Who remembers cheesecloth? And it's got giraffes on it. I really like it. And it's got a little knot on the front there. And um, giraffe print and a v-neck and buttons down the front. And I'm very pleased with it. It's nice and thin as well, which is good. I said I was going to tidy up all this mess today, but I really don't know if I'm going to get round to it. But it's definitely going to be high up on my list for tomorrow if I don't do it today. Good morning, it's Thursday. How are we all doing? I've dried my hair straight this morning, put a hair mask on it because it's in appalling condition since I had it coloured. I cannot remember the last time my hair was in such terrible condition at the ends could barely get a brush through it in the mornings despite my silk pillowcase and oh it's just not good at all honestly it's the worst condition i can remember it anyway i thought i'd dry it straight so it looked a bit less frazzled at the end but i'll give it about 10 minutes before i can't bear this bit in my face anymore just had the most frustrating conversation on live chat with HelloFresh. I think I've had a total of five deliveries from HelloFresh. Well, this, this one that was due today would have been my fifth. And today is the second one out of that five that just hasn't been dispatched on time and is not going to be delivered. And I know it's a small thing. I know it's really first world problems, but when you've planned your meals for the week and you're shopping around a delivery of food box being here on a certain day, it's just really annoying when they don't dispatch it. I've just got onto live chat and they're trying to tell me that a box that DPD, the courier, haven't even got yet could be delivered any time between 8 and 6 today. I mean, I know that DPD do not offer a same-day delivery service. So... A, they're completely fobbing me off. Hello, Fresh are completely trying to fob me off. Then later in the conversation, she did admit that they didn't have it, but wouldn't give me any sort of resolution. It, it, it's just, it, they just, it's the opposite of the wonderful service I have from Bath and Body Works earlier this week. It's just, can't be asked. We failed to do what we sh what we said we were going to do. We don't really give a shit. And, yeah, you'll just have to suck it up. So I've cancelled my subscription in a fit of massive irritation. I mean, as I said, it's first world problems. It doesn't really matter. It's just a mild irritation when you're expecting something that you're going to eat for dinner tonight to arrive today. And then you have to think, oh, God, what am I going to cook for dinner? I have to go through the freezer or I have to go to the supermarket. And it's just another added irritation into what was already a busy day. So, plans for Thursday probably include a visit to the supermarket or at the very least a visit to the freezer to go through that and find something for dinner um other than that a worky work day as Carla would call it very much a worky work day with eBay stuff today mostly and I've got some admin -y things my car insurance is due for renewal and it's come through 200 the new quote for new insurance bearing in mind that this year car insurance has gone down generally speaking because of the lack of cars on the road the price of car insurance has gone down apparently um so i heard on the radio the other day mine certainly hasn't and my renewal is about 200 pounds more than my 
then a, then a search on Go Compare. So that's bloody ridiculous. So I'm going to have to sort that out. I've also got my direct debit for my gas and electric. I'm aware that I'm being very boring here. Is too low for the amount of uh, gas and electric we're using. I guess because we're at home so much more than we were historically. And I tried to increase the direct debit and it wouldn't let me increase it to an amount that was suitable for to pay off the, the debit that was already there. It would only let me increase it a certain amount, which I did a couple of months ago. And now they've sent me a snotty letter saying you need to pay a big lump sum, which is fine. But I could have bloody told them this two months ago. And had they let me increase the direct debit to as much as I... Oh God, I'm a grumpy old woman this morning, aren't I? Shall I just stop here? I think I'll stop here, go and drop my parcels off, get some laundry on and um, make myself a smoothie. I don't know where the morning's gone. As you can see, I got fed up with my hair and had to pin it back. Um, 10 to 12 already. I glad you can't see the state of my kitchen from there. Looks all right from where you can see it, doesn't it? This is a bloody nightmare. Just, I've only just finished my breakfast smoothie. I always feel quite virtuous when I've had a smoothie, but I'm not going to lie, the process of, it was a homemade one as well, the process of drinking it is not a pleasurable one, ever. Oof. I just, I'm not a massive fan of fruit anyway. So why are you having a smoothie, Caroline, you might say, which would be a valid question. Actually, you pop up there while I load the dishwasher, that should work. Yeah, smoothies are healthy, aren't they? Fruit is good for you. And so, a smoothie had in it, for anybody who cares, but no, I make, I make bags up and put them into the freezer so I can just pull the bag out and mix it with whatever the mixer of the day is. Today it is Alpro Coconut Milk. Um, it had in it um, strawberries, blueberries, spinach, half a banana, and some blackberries, I think. And it was okay. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but not enjoyable at all. Really, just not enjoyable at all. Anyway, I've got some eBay listings done this morning, which is good. Um, what else have I done? I've done a few admin bits and bobs. I've been out and dropped off my parcels to the parcel shop and the post office. I'm now just filling up the dishwasher with last night's dishes. Really must get back into the habit of doing the dishes after dinner. I've got sneaked back into that bad habit of not doing them. And so I come down to them in the morning and then invariably I go and do work and don't get the dishes done. And it becomes something that I'm still doing the following lunchtime, which is not nice, is it, really? Um, but yeah, I've got quite a bit done this morning. I'm going to make a cup of coffee and I'm going to go and change my shades and wash my makeup brushes. That will be another good job done. They all need doing those jobs. And then that means when I get into bed tonight, I will have a lovely, comfy, fresh sheets, clean sheets bed, which is... Just one of my favourite things. It brings me so much joy having fresh sheets on my bed. Do you know, I have the nicest, loveliest viewers. You guys are all so lovely. I've just had a visit, a brief visit, from a lady called Coral. Hi, Coral, if you're watching. Um, who could pop round to pick something up and... We've never met before, she lives fairly local to me. And she bought me some beautiful flowers. Look at the roses. We had a long chat on the doorstep, which was lovely. And we're gonna meet up for coffee sometime in Exeter next time I go, when we can actually go and sit somewhere together and um, all of that stuff. Um, so that was just so nice. So it was lovely to meet you, Coral. Thank you for coming. And thank you for my beautiful roses. I'm gonna put them into a vase. Now, in addition to that, I had happy post yesterday, happy mail. And I've said before how much changing my life in terms of working for myself, becoming self-employed, having my own business, improved. Sorry, I'm dribbling. <laughs> 
what's wrong with me improved the quality of my life and whenever I hear of anybody starting their own business I think it's just such a great thing and a viewer contacted me last week a lady called Fiona who whilst she was on furlough I think I'm right in saying this during lockdown she took the opportunity to start her own business and she wanted to send me some of her products she has started a business called Sunbird Kitchen making overnight oats and granola and she sent me a selection this is choc chocolate hazelnut and sour cherry granola how much how nice does that sound just delicious it's gluten-free vegan no refined sugar then we've got apricot and chia overnight oat mix hazelnut and apple grain-free granola say that after you've had a couple of gin and tonics um cashew nut, nut and almond granola and then we've got a pecan and maple little one there snack pack that's called and this is a one portion pack these little ones of overnut oat mix and this is coconut coffee which i think sounds like it might be my favorite and this one is cacao coconut and walnut and i just love the packaging as well so i'm going to pop a link to fiona's website and socials in the description box below and if you would like to support a new small business and try some of these delicious products please do go and visit my house is such a mess today honestly and as soon as i tidy a bit of it up another bit gets messier it seems how does this happen there's only me here all day and only me and ashley here in the evenings so I don't know how it happens, I really don't. I'm, I'm not naturally a tidy person. And what are the secrets of being a naturally tidy person? Perhaps that would make a good video. Perhaps that's something I ought to research because I feel, I mean, look. Uh, okay, I've just opened the post, but there's no reason for this table to be covered in all of that mess. Just no reason at all. It should be completely empty apart from the little herb thing, which is the current centrepiece. But just never seems to happen. I need to know, if anybody's a naturally tidy person, let me know what your secret is. So tonight's dinner, owing to my failed Hello Fresh delivery, is from, sort of plagiarised from this book, which I'm very much enjoying at the moment. Everything I've cooked from this, really enjoyed. It is char grilled lamb on flatbreads with pine nuts, raisins and goat's cheese, which kind of looks a bit like that in the pictures. But I haven't got... Oh, that bloody squirrel is there again. He's in the bird seed. Um, I haven't got... I've only got cooked lamb. Um, so I'm doing it with already cooked lamb, which is slightly different because it's done with lamb steaks that are sort of marinated in a char grilled pan. But I've done it with cooked lamb. Let me just put the light on here. So you can see. So I cooked the, sort of shredded the lamb, cooked it down with um, onions, um, half a yellow pepper, which I just had that I chucked in, some sultanas, and some cumin, ground cumin, ground coriander, a little bit of turmeric, and some garlic, salt, and pepper. And I then just chopped up the cooked lamb and I've just sort of cooked it and mixed it and shredded it a bit. So it's almost like, um, sort of like kebab meat kind of thing or pulled lamb type of thing. Toasted some pine nuts there as well to go with it. And I've got some LD flatbread which I've just wrapped up in foil. To, oh, sorry, that's weird light, isn't it? I've got some LD flatbread breath which I've just wrapped up in foil to go into the oven. Got some fresh spinach some chopped up feta and some greek yogurt and that's just got remember i made those little herb ice cubes they're so useful um some chopped herbs from one of those ice cubes i'm gonna do good morning it's right oh my god i've put a bit of i've put a highlighter very low down on my cheek haven't i i've done it i've done it on both sides so maybe it looks worse i think it looks worse on the camera than it does in real life or in the mirror anyway um it's friday we've got to the end of another week and let's start the day with an unrecommendation for you i've just tried this mascara it's a l'oreal one that came in a box of some description at some point it's l'oreal air volume mega mascara 
don't like at all. It's got a really fat bra. I mean, it looks all right on, but I had to work at that. It's got a really fat brush that reminded me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, that big fat brush. Way too fat to get into my... My eyes, I feel, are quite deep set and um, it, the brush just felt really difficult to use and the mascara was quite wet and I ended up with it on my eyelid and then transfer up to above and it was impossible to do the bottom lashes. So yeah, I really did not like that one at all, Air Volume Mega Mascara. I'm still very much liking the Sky High mascara that I talked about in a favourites recently though. That's probably my new favourite, even better than the Lash Princess, although it's more expensive. Still drugstore price though, so not horribly expensive. I don't know why I'm saying drugstore as though we say that in the UK. Strange. I thought we'd end the weekly vlog with a final update on my conservatory cloakroom. Oh, that's nice. The sun is coming out. I didn't think it was going to come out today. Um, it's all but finished the only thing left to do is pop the door furniture here back onto the door and the handles on the outside but we need the little locking mechanism Ashley's filled it there and um, he's going to pop it back on this weekend but I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out it's only a tiny room but um, you know it's really freshened it up and it's looking a lot nicer I've got we've changed the light up here for a light that we just had knocking around in the garage which is much more modern and smaller and less like a big plastic monster. <laughs> um, painted the back, well, painted the whole thing. Um, obviously got the boxes there from the range. The plant I had from ages ago, I think that was originally from the range as well, if I recall correctly. Um, I liked the idea that we painted the shelf in the same colour as the wall as well in such a small room. I think it's better to have it all the same colour there. Um, and then we've got this little shelf which has worked out really well for uh, this came also came from the range it was a pack of three it's only about eight pounds for the three um with my little plant from primark and the hand soap on it um the toilet roll holder and towel thing we've just um taken off cleaned um painted behind and popped back up this little hand towel i've just purchased in matalan in the gray and yellow um ashley's popped a tile for a backsplash on the back of the basin there and then we've got my mirror oh there's me hello um which came from the range as well so yeah i'm i'm really pleased with it overall and as i say although it's tiny i think we've really freshened it up nicely and it looks loads better in there now right that is it from me for this week i hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend and had a good week and have a lovely week next week and i will see you again in another video very soon thanks for watching bye bye